All right, y'all, so I'm gonna show you the rig that I'm using today. We have a, a different kind of setups going on here. We're trying different things. So I am using a crusher jig or a mustad jig. This would be a standard yellowtail snapper jig as well. Let me get a bait real quick and I'm gonna show you how to rig it. So I'm using a small piece of bait for the sheep's head. I don't want them to steal it. So ripping off the tail, that adds a little bit of scent to the water for this, with the shrimp. Taking this little mustad jig head or a yellowtail snapper jig head, and you're just gonna work it through the upper body kind of like threading it on there. And then you see how it just came out like that? And then I like to shove the hook up into the body like that so it's hidden. And then that way it'll drift naturally in the current. This has a little bit of weight on it. And then again, we're trying different things. So a couple of my other rods, rods one is rigged with a tiny circle hook, one is rigged with a tiny Mustad J hook, and they have split shots on it to help it get down in the water column. I'm using, you can see, I'm really excited. I'm using a loop knot. They see I tied like that, so it has a little more action in the water. And then I'm using a 20 pound for carbon leader. Uh, and we also have other rods rigged with 15. So you really want a light leader when it comes to these sheep's head. They are smart and they won't eat it if it's not light. So we got some shrimp that we're gonna use up and the current is just now coming incoming tide. So we're gonna have really clean water here in a few minutes. And hopefully that'll turn on the bite for the right species that we're looking for. Sick, dude. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I honestly thought I had another Jack Creval on the way it was fighting. That's a beautiful sheep's head. And just casting those little pieces of shrimp out, the current's starting to move. Hopefully Connor's gonna get one here real soon too, but that's a nice one. He has his teeth wide open to show you. Look at that, crazy. Good hook set. He ate that right off the flat there, so now we know where to drift for the next time, but that is a nice fish. Heck yeah. All right, there he is. There's the beautiful sheep's head. That's a nice one too. Woo, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Trying to teach him how to bounce these things off the bottom. It's pretty simple, just shrimp in a jig. Anybody can do it, but he just caught a nice pig fish, so that's a keeper fish too, but now he's gotta keep something for dinner. So I caught a couple at the inlet, so what we decided to do after the incoming tide basically ended, we caught those two pompano and I lost a couple nice ones, which part of fishing, part of the game. But we came north, stopped at Snook Nook, of course, famous Snook Nook, got some more live shrimp because we were running out. And we came over to the power pole area, uh, power plant area, sorry, up here in Fort Pierce, I believe. Ooh, he got hooked real good. This is perfect, which is exactly what you want. We are fishing some structure. So wild, another really nice sheep's head for me. That's number three of the day. How gorgeous. Nice, Connor. Nice, Connor. Net, all right, relax, chill out, relax, relax. Net, come over here. Net, just walk yourself up. Oh, he's side hooked, he's side hooked. He might pop right off. Put him in the net, Connor, get him up. Yeah, buddy. Great job, woo, we did it. A little bit of coaching there. Connor probably caught the biggest one of the day. A little bit of technique that goes into this sheep's head fishing. You really, they're so smart, like I keep saying. They're not gonna eat your bait if it's not drifting naturally. And we have really tough conditions. It's really windy in shore today. So really just cap back here coaching him and like, you gotta catch this fish on your own. Hook it, catch him, bring him into the boat. That's exactly what he did. No fight involved, that's pretty cool. You could just rip him up off this structure. And uh, what we're doing is you really got to put your rod tip down in the water so you don't have a belly in your rod. Holy cow, nice fish, Connor. That's what you're talking about. And right there, perfectly in the corner of the mouth, they have kind of really tough mouths to hook. Um, and we've been trying to catch these suckers for a while now. But again, that little jig, Connor's fishing that same exact setup. There is his beautiful fish, baby. 